Hello my lovelies. Welcome to the Mocha Empress Oracle and Tarot channel. My name is Renee and I'm doing a reading right now for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. Welcome my Scorpio for November 2020. Okay, this is a general reading. It's not for any one Scorpio in particular. Um, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, I'm going to be using three different decks today. I'm going to be using the Moonology Oracle deck. I'm going to draw one card. And then I'm going to have a four card spread from the Angel Tarot card deck. And then I'm going to clarify that with the Territorial. Okay. Alrighty then. So let's get started. Each of the decks was pre-shuffled before the video started. Um, I already burnt my sage, did my little blessing and everything. So let's get started. Spirit, spirit guides, angels, archangels, ancestors. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, November 2020. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, November 2020. Scorpio, November 2020. Scorpio. Oh. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, that's too many cards. Okay, they put like 10 cards fill out. <laughs> Come on, spirit. Make it plain for me, please. We don't want to be here all night, please. <laughs> Show me Scorpio energy for November 2020. There's still a lot of cards. Come on, spirit. I'm going to have to put me top. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Ooh. Okay. New moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. All right now. Scorpio, I ain't shocked. I am not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Y'all Scorpio, so y'all just getting a little bit freaky dicky, you know. I dated a Scorpio once. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that was a long time ago, though, but you dated Scorpio, you never forget. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so bring love into the situation. Aquarius is all about progress and mod modernity. Modernity. I've never seen that word before. So this is the time to move forward. The new moon in Aquarius means no looking back. Change is on its way and it could come quickly. Whether you get the change you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it and how much you're relying on others to bring it to you. This card comes with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently on your own, but be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly there is a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. Okay. So that is the Moonology card for Scorpio for November 2020. And we're going to set it to the side. Let that energy marinate. <laughs> so now we're going to do four card spread okay we're going to put a card out for representing past energy present energy future energy and then overall energy as the fourth card okay show me what I need to see Start Scorpio, November 2020 Scorpio November 2020 Scorpio
Hmm. Okay. So, thank you, Spirit. Past energy. And I rarely see this card. It's been a very long time since I've seen it. Nine of Fire, which is the Nine of Wands. Future, I mean, sorry. Present energy. Seven of Fire, which is the Seven of Wands. Future energy is Major Arcana card, the Emperor. And the overall energy is the Nine of Water, which is the Nine of Cups. Okay, let's see. The Nine of Fire in the past energy position, it's saying don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. The Seven of Fire is defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. That's in present position. The Emperor, represented by Archangel Michael, is energy the same. This person has organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Emperor energy, that's future energy. And the overall is um, nine of water, which is nine of cups. It says, your wishes come true, concerns fade away. A love of life. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to clarify because to me this is saying someone was needing to stand up for themselves to defend what it is that they were believing in things defend what it is that they were doing um, but we're going to clarify because it says whatever it is that you were defending that your wish is going to come true. That's with the nine of water. But we're going to clarify. Okay, we're going to clarify the nine of fire first. Nine of fire. Please clarify nine of fire, spirit. Nine of fire. Make it simple, please. Make it plain. Make it plain, please. Whoa. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. To clarify the nine of fire, we have the world in reverse, and we have the three of pentacles. Um, the world in reverse is saying something's been delayed, some kind of success at some, you were doing something and the end result has been delayed. Your plans have failed. Um, you're feeling stuck and empty. Something's coming to an end. And it's making you feel a little bit alienated. Or something's missing and you're feeling... You're really feeling empty about it. You're feeling stuck. So to get out of this, it's recommended that you spend time with family members, loved ones, people that are close to you. Or getting back in touch with people 
and it might realign itself, whatever the situation is. Um, the Three of Pentacles, it indicates teamwork, collaboration, implementation of some kind of um, plans or work or something, learning. Um, this is indicating that things were coming together. This is past energy, remember, because the nine of fire is in the past position. You were having to defend, protect something that you created. Um, you were trying to keep the courage to believe in yourself and believe in what it was that you were working on. Um, maybe you collaborated with other people as part of a team to work on it. Um, maybe you guys did not respect each other's talent or take notice or recognize each other's talent or what they could bring to the table in this collaboration. So maybe it fell apart. It got delayed. But if you reconnect with these people, it may get, it may realign itself and get, you may be able to, you know, um, pick up where you started, pick up where you left off. I mean, um, get it started back up so that it can become a success. Um, it says, nine of fire says, don't give up. So maybe what, what it was that you were working on with these people, it kind of fell apart because you guys couldn't come together and agree on anything. But if you reconnect with these people and listen to each other instead of talking at each other, um, respect each other's talent, what you can do for the project that may make it become a success. So don't give up on it. Um, okay, the second present energy is seven of fire. Um, it's saying defend your decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Clarify seven of fire. Excuse me, just one moment. <coughs> <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> Have mercy, babe. Okay, now, let's clarify the seven of fire, please, spirit. All right, there's one peeking out at me. One more, please, spirit. One more for seven of fire. Thank you. Okay. To clarify seven of fire, we have two pinnacles in reverse and we have king of swords. Um, two pinnacles in reverse is saying that you're having a difficult time keeping things together. You're out of balance because you're not your your time management with what projects you're working on is not in balance. You need to reprioritize your goals. You're biting off more than you can chew. So it's getting you stressed out and spread thin and you're not able to accomplish anything because you're not able to get things done in a timely fashion. Um, you're over investing in something, in things that aren't important. So it's keeping the important stuff that you should be working on incomplete. So Maybe, maybe you're neglecting home for work or you're neglecting work for home or something needs to be, you need to balance this stuff out. Um, King of Swords. King of Swords is air energy. It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, 
it's masculine energy, but that doesn't mean you have to be a man for this to apply to. It could you could be a woman because men and women both have masculine and feminine energy. So this King of Swords energy is masculine energy. So when I say he, I just mean the energy. I don't mean he as a man. Okay, so the King of Swords is saying, this is energy that is saying this person is disciplined. They have mental clarity. Um, they have intellect. Anyone that is king of swords energy is someone that they show that they're they're in power of their truth they they stand to present themselves with confidence and conviction they speak the truth they don't sugarcoat anything um people respect and listen to what they have to say because they are known as being truthful and honest. I mean, I know sometimes it hurts for people to hear the truth, but it's better to say the truth instead of being caught in a lie or because you speak lies, the lie gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and people get hurt from that. So it's better to speak the truth. Um, the appearance of this card, it may also suggest that um, you're in need of a mentor uh, if you're in reference to like your finances, uh, maybe a financial advisor or a CPA, um, tax person, a lawyer, because something feels like something is getting ready to happen with this this thing in the past, this nine of fire. That thing that you created, that thing that you collaborated on, it may start bringing in, it may start bringing in abundance, financial flow. Um, but how these two Clarify the seven of fire. Seven of fire is when you stand your ground and you choose your battles wisely. You don't, um, you speak the truth. You always speak the truth. You find power in your truth. And you don't overcommit to things. You don't say you're going to do something and then turn around and not do it. Okay. That's present energy. You, you defend your beliefs and your decisions by speaking with speaking the truth. And people, they... They honor that. They look up to that. They pay attention. And they respect it. Okay, the emperor energy. Emperor energy. Clarify emperor energy. Please, spirits. Clarify emperor energy. Emperor energy. Thank you. Okay, now, um, oops, two fill out. Okay. Thank you. The star and two of swords. Okay, now remember the emperor is someone that is, they're organized, they're logical. He has all of his stuff. He has his wands. He has his pinnacles. He has his sword. He's organized. He's logical. He's structured. He's disciplined. He's a leader. He has all his stuff. He's he don't have to worry about a thing. So that's masculine energy. 
the star is a major arcana card as well and it's saying that you have a renewed sense of self this is saying this is someone that's in good health someone that is renewed in their faith and their spirituality they are considered an inspiration they're hopeful they're full of hope um, this person has been working on their personal growth <clears throat> their personal growth and development they're the type of person that gives of themselves and they give of them their spirit so that others can benefit from it and they can receive blessings and then in turn the star the person that is considered the star they receive blessings so they don't do it for money they do it because it makes others become blessed and feel better and in turn they get blessed and feel better The Two of Swords is someone is feeling, it's um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, is someone that's feeling at an impasse. They have a decision to make about something and they're having um, a difficult time making a decision. They're trying to weigh their options. So this could also mean... Um, Someone's having a hard time maintaining a partnership, or they're getting in, the, getting caught in the middle of arguments or something. They're in the middle of two swords. Um, you see the picture in the tarot is it shows someone that's blindfolded and they have sword they have two swords like this and they're blindfolded so they can't really see what's going on around them um, to me it's like okay they're holding the swords they know what the swords can do but they're avoiding looking at the swords and they're avoiding looking at what's going on because they have the blindfold on it's like okay we'll take the blindfold off so you can see what your decisions are, what what it is that you're making a decision on. This is someone avoiding issues. Um, they're avoiding issues and thinking that they're going to go away, but that's not going to make make it go away. So you can't. You have to take the blindfold off. You have to make a decision. How they clarify the emperor is. This is future energy. I think I need one more card. Let me see. One more card to clarify, please. One more card. Emperor, please. King of Wands. Uh, 
Okay. I think I'm getting it. Spirit's telling me that you have a decision to make. Remember that past energy that was talking about the um the pro the thing that you created. Don't give up on it. That you need that you should get back in touch with these this team of people that you were working on this with. Yeah, and then present energy is saying, um, to continue walking in your truth, to always speak the truth and defend your beliefs. Um, this is the emperor clarified by the star, the king of wands and the swords. I'm going to lose it. Wait a minute. Help me again, spirit. Okay. This thing that you were working on in the past, you have to decide, is this something that you're wanting to do because you're trying to get rich off of it? Or is this something that you're wanting to do because you want to help people you want it to be beneficial for other people so they can use it to help themselves king of wands energy is the king is this person is not interested in the creativity of it but rather taking the idea and then having others help them visualize it you know, and actualize it, have it come into being. I mean, you know what you want, but you are not, you, you the type of person, you want other people to be able to come in on it and help you make it a reality. And in turn, this is going to make you, people look at you as a star because what you're doing is you're not doing it for the money or for financial wealth. You're doing it for personal growth and development. You're giving of yourself and of your spirit so that it benefits others from the blessings that you receive. Okay? So you have to make that decision. What are you going to do? Are you going to do it for money or are you going to do it for, you know, spiritual growth? personal growth because if you do it that way you do it that's doing it from love that is bringing love into the situation see how it connects because the overall energy is saying your wish is going to come true this nine of cups is saying your wishes is going to come true Cons your concerns are going to fade away a love of life that means giving love Bringing love into the situation is going to help you succeed with this, whatever this was that you were working on. That's the message that I'm getting. I can clarify the nine of water, but I think that's what the message is. Yeah, whatever it was that you were working on. If you get back in touch with those that were helping you with it and you decide this is what I want to do because I want to help others, I'm not necessarily, I'm not really interested in the money part of it and you're just doing it because you care, because you love to do what you're doing, you're going to be successful at it. It's going to, your wish is going to come true with it. Okay. All right, Scorpio, that is the message that I see in the cars for November 2020. Um, if you have any questions, if you'd like to get in touch with me, book a personal reading, um, donate to the channel, all that information is located in the description below the video. 
and I will see you uh, in a couple of weeks or so, okay? Um, have a safe and happy holiday this this um, November. Um, a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, just be safe if you decide to do things in groups. Just make sure you, you've got your mask, that you're washing your hands, have your antibacterial gel, uh, and keep social distance, okay? Love you guys. Be safe out there. Peace, love, and light. Bye.